All right, we're continuing here with Sharing Your Faith in the Age of COVID, uh, the week of August 23rd. And this should get us cut up, caught up. It says there that um, from the previous Bible study verses, we learned that man simply the object of faith. In other words, faith comes by hearing, hearing the Word of God. The Holy Spirit and the Word of God work together to create faith in the dead heart and make it alive again. Uh, that means that he receives faith from God and God alone. However, we must understand that natural man, apart from God, will try to work out his salvation. List some examples that you can think of. Now, I don't know the examples that you've listed, but all religions except for Christianity do this. All religions except for Christianity are religions of the law. You have to do something to please God to get uh, his, his pleasure and, and his acceptance. Christianity does not do that except for in the cases of those who teach uh, false teachings regarding uh, decision theology or what we call Pelagianism where they don't believe in original sin at all that uh, man can do everything on his own but that's very contrary to the word of God. So all religions and um, uh, you can look at your examples there and see how much they uh, connect with that idea of all religions. Let's just take a look at the Bible verses below and identify a, how a man cannot believe apart from the Word of God. That is, man cannot work out his salvation. And the first one we have here is 2 Corinthians uh, two nine. However, as it is written, what no eye has seen, what no ear has heard, and what no man um, human mind has conceived, the things of God has prepared for those who love him. Identifying specifically here, this does not come from man. He cannot work out his own salvation. We further look in Corinthians to chapter 2, verse 14. The natural man does not accept the things that come from the Spirit of God, for they are the foolishness to him, and he cannot understand them because they are spiritually discerned. Now, the natural man there is the old sinful nature, the old Adam, also known as the natural man. And why are... Can there, he not understand them? Because he's dead in sin. What can dead people do? They can't do anything. So God has to intervene here. And from Ephesians 2, 8, 9, in our last Bible study, we've seen he does so, and he does so uh, wholly on his own to create faith. Then we also have another passage from 1 Corinthians, going back to chapter 1, verse 23. We preach Christ crucified to the Jews a stumbling buck and to the Greeks foolishness. And here it's identifying specifically and discerning specifically that Christ was a stumbling block to the Jews. They had difficulty accepting him as the Messiah. And to Greeks, foolishness. Now, Greeks always, always had the central understanding of wisdom. And uh, Jesus became foolish, foolishness to him. Natural man believes that only he can work out his conversion. However, understanding the scriptural teaching of divine monergism, again, that word comes up, we consider the natural man to be lost and able to save himself. And then it explains divine monergism. Mono, ergon are the two words. Mono meaning one, ergon meaning God. One work, or, one, or ergon meaning work. One work only, and that work is by God to create faith in us and uh, contrary to uh, the decision the theology made popular by Billy Graham. Now, it's interesting because Billy Graham did believe in original sin. However, um, we have these difficulties here of him understanding it properly. Have a good day.